In this video I will show you how you can open a can with a can opener the correct way. Yeah, the correct way because there is a wrong way to do it. So here I have a can. A can doesn't really matter what it is. This can has a self-opening tab, but the tab could be broken. If the tab breaks, how do you open the can? Or if the can doesn't have the can opener tab, what do you do? For this reason, you should have a can opener in your home, just in case, for example, here I could open it from this side and there won't be any problem. This is a generic can opener. There is nothing really special about it. You can find this everywhere. I'll put a link in the description for the one I use, this model, this type. It's basically a wheel with a blade on it to cut the metal and gears that will make the can move around while you cut it. This is from Ikea, but you can have it from wherever you like. The mechanism in the can opener, it's very simple and ingenious at the same time. There is this gear here, that's one layer that connects to the blade gear and another one that will move the can while it's cutting it. You see those big gears, they engage with each other like this and when you close it, it will start the blade moving. This one is spinning, spinning freely here, it's a bit rusted, yeah. And when you close it, it engages with both wheels and now it's ready to cut the can. It works perfectly. There are many models, many types of cans. You could even use a knife if you wanted to open a can on a spoon. But yeah, if you have a can opener, use the can opener. So the wrong way is to do it like this. If you put the can opener this way, it will cut on the outside of the, the can and it will remove the whole lid from the top and you will be left with a sharp edge on your can and also probably some spillage from the contents of the can because usually they have liquid inside and this is below the top level of the can so it's a bit... I mean it would work if you wanted to do it like this but there is no reason to open it like that you can open it the normal way put the blade on top if you like to use the previous way please go ahead use that it doesn't really matter but this is a better way you will see what i mean the the lid will open from inside so the edge of the can will be this rounded edge that is fine to touch no no problem because this will have sharp edges the lead coming out from this, you have to be careful with it. it, it will have a sharp edge. So you put the blade on top and then you close it like this to engage both gears. Once you're ready, you squeeze, you press the hold on, hold on tight to the can opener and start spinning the handle. Watch this. That's all. Now your can is opened. You might choose not to go all the way around the can, so you leave the lid attached to the can. You can flip it like a hat. You can even put it back, but it's up to you. If you, when you remove this, you, it's good to press from one side to lift the other side, like I did here. And be careful with this lid. It's it has sharp edges, so be careful with it. Drinking a bit of this mango slices juice syrup. You see, there was no spillage. No, none of this syrup came out from the can. If I did open it like this, yeah, here I'm trying to show you how I might open it. Once it's open, it doesn't really work to do it both ways like this. But 
yeah i'm just trying to show you where it would actually make the cut if it did if i did open it from there you see it's much lower in the end it's up to you how you open the can if you don't have a can opener and you have a can and you want to open it you could even use a knife for it but you have to be super careful with the knife because you you might uh, hurt yourself you might injure yourself with this can opener it's really low chances of anything bad happening thanks for watching i hope this helps you let me know in the comments section below how you open your cans